I am here to detail about the experiment based on flywheel. The aim of the experiment is to determine the moment of inertia of a flywheel based on falling weight method. So you can see this is the rotating heavy disc. It is used to store, restore energy and release it whenever it is required. Regarding moment of inertia, so it is the quantity which determines the torque required for the acceleration above the axis. Similarly, if we uh, talk about torque in case of rectilinear motion, so through the mass, how much force is required to get the desired acceleration? What are the apparatus required? Firstly, the rope with the knotted and hanger some weights and a scale required to measure the height of the load. This is the one year caliper which is required to measure the diameter of the axle as it is an energy storing device so application of this whenever we require extra energy so we can use it like in generator where there are fluctuations of energy and uh, you can also find it in automobile sectors. As it is the knotted end of the rope, now we are going to fix it, means that there is a glue and uh, we are going to mount it and uh, we will wound it by rotating of the fly wheel and uh, one caution is there it should not it should not be overlap you can see You can see the weights on the hanger and we will keep it on some certain height like a 90 centimeter, 105 centimeter or 120 centimeter and we will allow it to fall it. Then uh, we will see what happens. So see you can see now this case of what? So now there is a some weights, suppose a 2 kg load we have uh, put here and uh, we keep it at a certain height and uh, now we are going to allow it to fall it down and its then its potential energy of this weight will be converted into kinetic energy and uh, then it will rotate and uh, here there are two stop watts are, watts are required to record time T1 and T2. T1 once it is fall we will measure where it strikes the ground and after stri uh, striking the so once uh, this uh, weight will strike the floor so that is the time T1 which will be recorded by the stopwatch and another stopwatch is required to record the time after striking the floor when the flywheel will keep rotating and when it will end so that will be the T2. So now I am going to allow it 
to free fall and we will see the rotation what is happening here you can see here the weight is getting down and going to strike on the floor and the speed of the flywheel got increased it strikes it is our t1 now t2 we are measuring to the stopwatch and when it will stop so that will be the time of t2 so you can see the flywheel is rotating about its uh, axis the axle axle may there is a groove groove say rope uh, the hanger is attached with the rope and on the hanger we put we apply some loads so in this way we will repeat this uh, experiment uh, the required number of observations uh, and uh, what are the things we have to note down for the observations so you can see the weight and the height time t1 and the time t2 and finally then moment of inertia based on the expression we get for the each reading and we average it and uh, the moment of what is the equation of moment of inertia so you can see i is equal to w d square t2 t1 square and in bracket 1 minus 2h divided by g t1 square close the bracket and divided 8h t1 plus t2 so here d is what d is the diameter of the axle uh, for for uh, taking the observation, uh, we will first uh, apply some weight on the hanger and mount it, uh, wrap the rope over the axle and we can increase the load and we will take certain heights and we can vary the height also because we will produce some height to give uh, uh, potential energy to this system for uh, rotation of this flywheel. Initially, we are, uh, I am taking a height of 90 centimeter here again we can increase for further observation up to uh, uh, up to your extent uh, like 100 centimeter 110 120 anything and we will also increase the weights like initially i have taken a weight of 2 kg here and uh, we can increase the weight up to 3 kg 4 kg for different number of observations here i am allowing it to fall down and as well as we are required two stop watches at the instant this is uh, this weight will fall we will on the stopwatch for taking the time t1 and this as we can see the uh, weight is falling down and this is our observation one and uh, we are taking the time t1 here at the moment it is strikes the ground t1 is over yeah this is the time t1 and from uh, this point onwards, up to that stand, this uh, flywheel will stop rotation. That time will be t2, and overall time will be t1 plus t2 is the total time of the experiment. It is also required for calculations. And uh, this is the uh, uh, observation for uh, setup for one observation, and we are waiting for uh, stopping of this uh, flywheel. As you can see, this is the side view of the flywheel. Here we can see this is the uh, uh, this is the axle of the flywheel, and this is the flywheel. And when we mount the rope in this axle, so we get a uh, deflection, a lateral displacement in the tension applied in this load. And uh, we can see this in in the manual. And this is the fly uh, front view of the flywheel setup. This is the flywheel. This is the uh, frame of the flywheel and this is the rope uh, in which we apply the load and now we can see the flywheel is about to stop here
now this is the time t2 as i have already uh, taken the observation here so we will note down all the readings in this observation table like weight 2 kg height is 90 cm t1 is uh, 27 seconds and t2 is uh, 88 seconds and uh, we can calculate here t2 and accordingly using these values we can calculate the moment of inertia of the flywheel for this observation in this in this manner we will repeat the number of observation for getting a mean value of moment of inertia we will use this formula and uh, here w we will apply the weight here and we we can take uh, the uh, units in si si units of system uh, all the units and we get the value of i here and uh, in this manner we can perform this experiment how the potential energy is being converted into kinetic energy and uh, it got rotated so application point of view there are various applications uh, as i have already told uh, in automobile and uh, in this way we can uh, perform this experiment thank you